good day good day people i hope you're all doing well and you are staying safe um today i just feel like the lord wants me to share this like i don't even know whether to call it a message they're just like things you know when the lord just starts speaking to you about different things and then it's just it kind of comes together to make something so is that something that i just want to share with you guys today um and I'd say from Sunday, the Lord has been, so today's Friday, but from Sunday, the Lord has been speaking to me about um, this topic and just, um, I'm really excited to share it with you because um, it's very important. And I think it's forming a foundation of why, you know, hearing the voice of God is important, why living by the word is important, why reading the word is important, why uh, just so many things, why um, having that old personal altar is important um so do you mind don't mind me the fact that i'm gonna look at my journal because that's where like i write when the when the lord speaks to me i write these things down i don't want it to just you know leave and i forget about it so i'm going to be looking here I'm also going to be looking at my laptop because i've googled the scriptures as well so the first thing the lord um the scripture that god put in my mind was when um the enemy was tempting um jesus in the wilderness and um you know i think the enemy says to jesus oh if you're the son of god turn um these stones to bread something like that and jesus responds in matthew chapter 4 verse 4 he responds by saying but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So it just started to make me think, wow, so food is not enough. Food and drink is not enough to sustain me. But that's not because he says, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So it just highlights that importance of the words that God speaks. It highlights the importance that the words that God speaks have the ability to give life, to transmit life from his mouth to you. And ever since the Lord just like revealed that to me, I take it very seriously when God is speaking to me. I take it very seriously when God gives me a promise. I start to take it very seriously when God is God is speaking in general because he is not just saying when God is, you know, giving a promise, when God is, you know, cheering you up. He's talking about every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God has the ability to give life, has the ability to transmit life. Therefore, if we understood the power and the importance that the words of God carry, the words that God carries, we would actually be conscious in listening to what he has to say to us. When we go about our days, we'll be looking out like, God, what are you saying, Lord? I'm having this conversation with this person right now. Lord, what are you saying right now? Because I believe that God is speaking. God is a speaking God. He's not talkative. That's quite different. But he's speaking to us. And it's whether we want to listen and listen because his words carry life. His words carry power. Um, I hope I'm not kind of jumping in this. It's too quick, but yeah his words carry life his words carry power so ever since that point i take everything that god has said to the uttermost seriousness because it has the ability to trans transmit life to me when i'm reading the word life is being given to me when i'm hearing and listening to what god is saying to me throughout the day life is being transmitted to me so it's so important that we we listen and we are able to discern the voice of the lord that we spend time with him why because in that in that secret place god wants to reveal to us secrets god wants to speak to us about certain things and it's whether we want to listen that life can be transmitted to you too you have to decide each and every day like i want to listen Sorry, guys it kind of just okay so the next point that i wanted to make was where um you know the disciples are like lord teach us how to pray and we get to the lord's prayer and it's like our oh, father hallowed be and hallowed be thy name and all that and there was something that stood out to me um on the line where it says give us today our daily bread give us today our daily bread and i don't know but i never saw it from the perspective of like what's it called having like god just fulfill the things that oh we need materially which is which is obviously great god supplies all our needs amen but 
I felt like the Lord was saying that there is a daily word that he wants to give us, that there is something for today that he wants to speak, that there is something for today that would have the ability to speak life over a dead situation. And what I mean by this is that Jesus is the word, but he's also the bread of life. And we can liken bread to, you know, something that sustains you, something that keeps you um, alive, something that because obviously without food, you would die. Right. So give us today our daily bread. And if Jesus is the bread of life, Jesus is the word. Therefore, give us today, Lord, that word, Lord. Give us today that word that you want to speak to us. This is why I was saying earlier about the importance of spending time with Jesus, the importance of spending time with the word, the importance of spending time um, in your, in the secret place, in the, the importance of spending time with God. Why? Because God wants to speak life to us. God wants to give us our daily bread. God wants to give us a word that is for today. Amen. Now, some of us were holding on to the words that God has said ages ago and it's and it's great you know God has spoken to you before but God wants to speak to you today as well and I'm not talking about like the promises of God where oh it's taken like a while to come I'm not talking about that I'm talking in the sense that God has maybe spoken to you before and you've heard the voice of God before and you've just been like oh, okay yeah I've heard that enough I've, it's fine it's fine like I've heard I've heard enough from God no there is a daily bread there is something there's something daily that the Lord wants to give to you that it's not enough to say oh I've heard the Lord before you know I pray that we'd be people that we've, we not only have heard the voice of God, but we hear the voice of God. Why? Because there is a daily bread. Why? Because there's life that wants to be given to us each and every single day. And we have to spend time with God. We have to, um, you know, be in the presence of God. We have to build our own personal altars. Um to God that we can have that time that intimacy with him because it's that intimacy with him that you receive life from him that you receive the words that he's speaking into your life each and every single day and then the next point that I want to look at is what do you do when you now receive these words from God what do you do and recently I've been looking into the character of um, Abraham and I've been really learning a lot from him I'm actually going to read um, out of my journal because I felt like it kind of links to what I'm saying about the building your altar and all of that. Now, I wrote in my journal, I admire Abraham. Every time God spoke to Abraham and made him a promise, an altar was built instantly in the place the um, promise was made or in the place the word was spoken. And Abraham, I wrote, Abraham could not survive spiritually without readily renewing his love and loyalty to God. And as a result, he wrote, he put, he kept these altars as number one for prayer and worship and number two as a reminder of God's promises um, that God has said before therefore when God speaks to us God speaks to us what is our response to when he speaks what is our response life is being given to you what is your response to that for Abraham when God when God gave him a promise he built an altar in the place he built an altar and said God look this is a reminder of your word this is a this is to this is to show that God keeps his promises the fact that God has said this he will do it therefore I'm building an altar in this place and it's like the Lord is just saying to me right now as well that like maybe God has spoken to you about a particular thing I'll promise you something in particular he said, he said okay you're going to do this you're going to go here you're going to do get this and the Lord has promised you these things and you know you're thinking when is it coming when is it coming but no Abraham he built an altar he built an altar so to show look did God has said this so he's going to do it God is going to do it so Abraham he built an altar when God spoke to him. God gave him a word. God gave him life. And he built an altar on that word. He built an altar on what God had said. He said, look, Lord, the Lord has said this. And because God is faithful to his promises, this is a reminder that this was the day that the Lord said this. In the same way, what is our response when God says to us, build an altar on the things that the words has God has said to you. And what I mean by this, you can either write it down in your journal, write it down today the Lord said this, today the Lord said that, because then the time that it comes, you can come back to that place, come back to that altar, come back to where God actually spoke that word and write it down again and say, God did it, God completed his promise, God was faithful to his promises. Um, and I just also um, want to share another thing as well, that I was in um, like a prayer meeting the other day and the Lord was um, sharing this with me that 
um, it was like a vision that I saw um, this child and this child was building, I'm reading up my journal again, by the way, um, this child was building an airplane model. And when the child was done building the, building the airplane model, he threw it into the air and it began to fly, right? And the Lord started to speak to me about Isaiah 40 verse 31, where it says, Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Therefore, we must build that intimacy with God. We must wait on the Lord. We must be in that space where we are so, we are so, you know, in, we're so in the presence of God that he's able to renew us. He has an opportunity to, 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 to speak life over us and to really renew our strength. That strength that is going to need, that's going to be needed for you to soar in, in your everyday life. That strength that's going to be needed. It comes from waiting on the Lord. As you, as I saw in the vision, the child was building the model. And as I was seeing the child building the model, it was like I heard the Lord say, build an altar, build an altar, build that personal altar, make that sacrifice, that quiet time. Time. even when you're tired in the morning make that time because the time that you choose to wait in his presence today the time that you choose to wait on the lord today is the, the strength that you will get for tomorrow amen so that was what the lord was speaking to me about that when we receive a word it's important that we build an altar that we build an altar on the words that god has spoken to us so that when god wants to god fulfills his promise we can come back to that place and say yes the lord has done it and even if it's not a promise the words that god speak is life in general there are times where I've written things in my journal from like two years ago and I look back at it and when I read it because the word came from God it's almost as if it has an impact on my body right now like when I'm reading words that I've written from years ago I'm like because God said this it is its ability to speak life over me right now today um and those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. So that's what the Lord has been really speaking to me about, about us living by the word, by us seeking righteousness, thirsting and hungering um, after his righteousness. Amen. So I just feel like the Lord has been um, speaking about us you know, speaking that we should live by the word, that we should live by his sustaining word, that we will not live by bread alone, that there are no substitutes, that we won't live by these, by the world standards. And we won't think that, oh yeah, this is enough to satisfy me. No, 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 no. But actually we would live by the every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, because that is where you get true life. And that is where you get true satisfaction. So that is really all I have to share with you guys today um i just pray that that was clear everything that i said to you um and if you have any questions just feel free to put it in the comment section um i'm always glad when you know god speaks to me and um gives me the ability to share on this platform um and to just share with you guys so i'm really really um grateful i just wanted i don't know why i'm saying this but i just felt like saying that i'm just so grateful for um, what the Lord is doing um, and that he has um, you know given me um, this platform and given me this space to be able to um, share with you guys and just share what um, the Lord has been speaking to me about so I just really encourage you guys to you know carve that time out for God even if it starts out with five minutes ten minutes you will you'll realize that after a while there's times re in my most recent times I've like spent like an hour and I'm like oh my goodness before I used to struggle to spend just even 10 minutes with God and it's just so like amazing how the Holy Spirit is able to create that hunger on the inside of us to keep on going and to keep on seeking after his righteousness amen so I just um I'm really grateful for all of you um and yeah God bless you um that's all I have to share with you guys today and I will see you next time bye